gameplay is the player goes, hey, this is a construction set. I'm going to build this world the way I want to. Yeah. Right, and it looks pretty. And you know what? This is going to be my uh, my forest factory, right? Because I put right. six here, right? Um, great. I, I don't know that that's going to kill anything, right? It's the lowest tier resources in your EK. No, no, and I'm not worried about that because, like you said, it is the lowest tier. What's actually kind of interesting about that is we could create a one by gar a one by one garden parcel, mm -hmm. and it doesn't have building space. Right? There's enough room for one little shack. That's about it. But it does have like, you know, offset rows of those little green squares so that you can really load that thing up mm -hmm. with particular trees or whatever. So I like that. Right. That's pretty cool. Yeah, because then I'm walking around in the campaign world and I come around a corner and there's an orchard there. And it randomly spawned eight different apple trees on the 25 slots that are there. Right, and now I can walk up in there and I can collect that in the campaign world. That would be actually be pretty cool. Even better is if you could get a seed of an apple tree yeah. and take the seed back and then put that in a one by one here in your parcel. Yeah, I agree. And it grows a tree that can be harvested from then on out yeah, forever. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Right it would that. actually be kind of cool if there was if you bang on it long enough. So right, there's a way to harvest it. There's also a way to burn it. Right, there's a way. So in the campaign, so it would world, never respawn. So I come back and I find this orchard <coughs> and it's right next to your castle, and I'm like, all right, torch it. I'll collect all the stuff off at once, and then I'll light it up. Next time, wall your trees in. Right. It's I so, think buildings have sockets too, anyways, because we're gonna need we're gonna well, need to do that. Well, they have NPC sockets, but it may be that they don't have wandering. They have stationary NPC sockets. They don't have wandering spawners. Have wandering NPCs, mobs, effectively. Right. right? In the traditional, actual sense, which is mobiles. Right? Mobile. Right. They're Mobile, loitering. Mobiles. Yeah. Their, their behavior is to loiter around their mound. Yeah. And if something aggro's. And if they reset, this is what they reset to. This is their home point. Yeah. Right? Well, and also, again, it could be dest destroyable. So if you walk up and you whack it, then you could effectively turn off that. It could have its own respawn time. So you could effectively kill the spawner for a while if we wanted okay. to allow it. For example, I'm sieging you. You have a guard tower. The guards are going to spawn out of that tower. If I take out the tower, for the tower has to be healed or refreshed. In order for the gauntlet. They're gauntlet spawners. Yeah, they're effectively, That's they're gauntlet cool. spawners. Right? Yeah. So we had, like, no build around this, right? This is an exterior wall Correct, segment. Correct, yeah. And so we put it there on purpose. But then some of these, like these interior wall segments, they don't have that. And the reason is because you need to be able to take a Correct. palisade or a parapet and bump it right up against it. Or, like, uh, what is this, a, a ramp, you know, the stone ramp uh, that we've got. You'd have to put that right there, you know? And so for that reason, we didn't put a no build around those because we needed to attach to them. We didn't do our structures either. Otherwise, you'd have to put the ramp way out here, and that's not a very effective ramp. Yeah. Factory. Factories don't live in the EK. Factories yeah. only live in the campaign worlds. So, so the factory, you know, I go up to it, and there's a specific, like, parcel that's built for it, right, in theory. And um, there's a chest, effectively a container. I walk up to it, I pop it open, and it respawns a massive amount of resources Correct. on a timer. Up to a point, up to a fill point. If this was my tree, I would whack it and it would give me one unit of wood, right? If I had a tree factory, like I would get 3,000 wood out of the chest, yeah. right? It's just the scale of magnitude is just so... But if you need to make a bow and you need 15 pieces of wood... Right, you go up to the nearest tree. You get 15 pieces of wood, or you need arrows, you go to a tree and get... Well, and there's a time component, too. It's going to take some period of seconds to get one piece of wood. I go to the factory, I open it up instantly, there's 3,000 in there, I snag it. Right, it's now, more... getting it somewhere, that's the other challenge. That's the problem, is it's too heavy to carry all 3,000, yeah. and you have to move as a group and carry around with your animals. But this, this is... This is the small gameplay for a quick session. Somebody comes in, I just need some wood, I need to prep for the fight tonight, I need some arrows, and I need to make a backup bow. I can go do that anywhere off of trees and not factories. I get, I'm now changing our metaphor. This is, no, this is now a giant block of stone as opposed okay. to being a piece. But I go to a quarry and I get a giant block of stone and it's got 3,000 units of stone. I can carry it as one big piece. If I try and break it apart, like chip off a piece of stone so I can make a stone hatchet, it's incredibly lossy. Like breaking this down into two halves, it also bleeds a bunch of the 3,000. So it's like, instead of it breaking into two parts of 1,500 each, they're two parts of 1,000 each. And then I break that again. Like the, every time I break it down, it's getting worse. Mm -hmm. Unless I can take it back to my town and go to a refinery, at which point now it can break, at the refinery, it can break it down without Mainly. it being, you know, without right. it being lost. We have a big I really like that idea. That's pretty cool. No, caravans are great. Because, yeah, that, it drives caravans. Now I want to transport it as a big... Nobody can carry junk. that. Nobody can carry that. Well, if you have particular areas that are marked as you can put a resource spawner here, and we spread those out, you don't need it. Well, it means that I have to be more thoughtful. I have to be, I have to be more thoughtful. Oh, God yeah. forbid. 
<laughs> but this kind of has the rules built in uh, for it. Though. Right. It so what I could do is I could blob an area over here yeah. and say, you know what, they can put... So they can't put them right next to each other. He can put two spawners in this area, but I don't care if he puts them up here or up here. But if I manually go in here and say, you can only put a spawner here and you can only put a spawner here, it takes a lot of the creative control out of your hands, right? Yeah, I guess it's true, but you're starting to add rules now about dropping. What can be dropped relative to what else can be dropped, and I was really trying to avoid it. Just because it gets real messy, real fast. And it's more work. That's the other thing. <laughs> well, actually, it's less work for me. It's more... Yeah, but I, don't, I think I've shown now that I don't care about work for you. I'm trying to protect the artists and the programmers. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure the players have the creative freedom to go, I, I you know, I kind of want to like this. Oh, okay, so here's one way we could tackle this. So Melissa and I have already talked about this, is we have a difference between placing this stuff, right, and prop placement. Mm -hmm. Prop placement is, now I want to go put a plant in this corner. Okay. And we didn't want the plants to be using this same grid, because it would be really dumb to, like, put a plant right here, and now this entire area, I can't put, uh, you know, a cool... Castle Junction, right. because there's a plant there. So we were like, let's just separate props out as a separate thing. And you and prop placement is, I'm now running in the around the world, and I actually have this thing in my inventory, and I snap the head on a spike over here on this spike, or whatever. So we could potentially do this stuff with prop placement, right, as opposed to making them modular pieces that are put in the world. Same thing, but then we're not adding another layer of... Um, of, of rules on top of this, we're just embedding a layer of rules on top of prop placement. Props then have a no build. I mean, then they the, get the no the build. The no build would be there, but it would be on the prop level, not here. Right. Are we going to have a maximum number of pieces for building things? Well, we probably will. I, I think you have. I think I tech's think gonna gonna have yes, yeah, I think going to say yes. Yeah, I think we're going to have to. Right, yeah. I, I know Bill's going to want to have some type of limit on it. Mm 